my question is, or I feel like a statement, it's a statement. Why do some people feel or forget that at the end of the day, everybody that you're working with are still random fucking people? You don't know these people. These people are your associates because you work there. What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, T-Sizzle, back for another video. And for tonight's video, we're going to talk about how... Now, first and foremost, before I get into the main meat of the video, let's say... You know, I just want to say something real quick. So, you know how when you first get a job, you know, you know, you're like, you're like, uh, you know, you know, like you make like since you're new, like you want to make sure that you come in on time, you know, do everything right and all that shit. Follow everything exactly by the book because you're new and stuff and you don't want to like. You know, you 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 want to you know make your first impression be good and all that shit. But then when you get used to it, bro, you're like, man, fuck that bullshit. <laughs> but initially, when you first start, you know, you're like very like cautious. With, you're very cautious with everything that you do and shit and stuff like that. Oh, here's the city bus. I ain't gonna lie, man. Sometimes I actually like to ride the city bus sometimes. Sometimes I actually like to ride the city bus. Not every day, like, but preferably, you know, I would prefer to ride in the car. But some days riding the city bus is actually kind of cool to, like, just sit back and, like, relax, listen, you know, and, and let the driver drive you around. It's actually kind of relaxing sometimes, but sometimes. But if it's, but if you just, if you just want to make a quick errand, the city bus sucks, <laughs> you know. But, uh. <laughs> Yeah, man. Um, back to what I was, the topic. Yeah, man. So, yeah, man. It's, it's gonna be video titled "How Coworkers Are Not Your Friend, Bro." Coworkers are not your friend, dude. And I'm gonna break this down. So, <clears throat> there's been a few situations where I thought people who were cool turned out to be backstabbers, man. And I already made a video titled Backstabbing Coworkers. I already made a video about that shit yesterday. But that's, some, that's fucking crazy, man, how you have people that can literally laugh in your face and crack jokes with you. Some of these people may even tell you a story or two about their life. And you think, okay, this, these people are probably real cool with me, you know. We ain't friends or nothing, you know, because obviously, you know, once we clock out, you know, we're not like hanging out or nothing, but you know, we have some sort of mutual respect for one another or some sort of mutual, co uh, some sort of mutual cordialness with one another. You know, we ain't friends or nothing. We ain't, I ain't finna hang out with y'all, but you know, you would think, okay, we cool, you know, we straight, you know, but <laughs> whole time, man, these motherfuckers is backstabbing your ass, dude. It's fucking crazy, dude. Like, it's fucking crazy, man. Like, there's a person I work with that's like that, man. You know, we we talked about some shit, cracked a few jokes and shit, and the motherfucker's backstabbing me and shit, dude. What the fuck? So, that's some real shit, man. You got motherfuckers like that, dude, where they'll backstab you. Like, let's say that you have a lunch break, and you maybe might be five minutes late. They'll tell the boss on your ass. Or you fucking clocked out five minutes early they'll tell the boss on you i mean it's fucking stupid man co-workers are not your friend dude which i already know no one really at work is really my friend at any job that i've had but even though y'all you guys ain't my friend i mean i would you know um appreciate if you guys just had some fucking mutual respect man stupid dude <laughs> how people will try to rat you out it's dumb as hell man <laughs> That's why I work, dude. I just, I just play along, bro. I don't even, I don't, like, I don't, like, I just, I just ignore it. I don't even, like, I don't even take people seriously, dude. I just kind of just go along with it. You know, it's stupid as hell, man. It's stupid as fuck. It's dumb, man. It's fake, you know? It's fake ass shit, dude. But yeah, man, title of the video, co-workers are not your friends, man. That's real shit. The same people you laughing with. <laughs> <laughs> same motherfuckers tell on your fucking ass you know same person that maybe told you a part of their life story would tell on your ass you would think okay this person is cool enough to tell me a piece of their life they must be cool not that's not always the case bro 
Not always the case, man. So you got to watch out for these backstabbing ass motherfuckers, man. Set your ass up at work and shit, dude. It's stupid as fuck, man. That's why, you know, I, I got to escape the nine to five rat race because, you know, you got shit like this, man. <laughs> and like Steve Brown, he always be saying shit like this. Why would you bring someone here when when they have to deal with toxic co-workers and toxic shit? <laughs> Steve Brown always saying that shit in his videos <clears throat> for every situation. Why would you bring someone here when they can get Bell's palsy? <laughs> when they can get Bell's palsy and Lyme's disease. <laughs> he always says, why would you bring somebody here? And then he says some shit like, so, my, so you know, so I'm doing the same thing. Why would you bring somebody here when they can, when, when, when they got to deal with toxic co-workers and stupid sh backstab and shit at work? Stupid as hell, man. But like me personally, man, like, you know, I'm a, I'm a nice dude, man, you know. I'm a, I'm a nice dude, you know, I make sure to say hello, I make sure to say goodbye, you know, I, I make sure to, you know, I make sure to at least say hello and goodbye, you know, that that's one thing that I will, you know, that I will say to a person, I say hello, you know, and then I'll say see you later or something, you know what I'm saying, I'll say see you, some, you know, you know, might not always start a conversation with you, but <clears throat> I at least say hi and bye, you know. You, I, I at least acknowledge your presence, right? And uh, actually, a lot of times I do start conversation because um, a lot of people, uh, or sometimes don't like people that don't start conversation. Like if you're like too quiet, so people have an issue with that for some reason. If you're like a person who doesn't say anything, it's kind of stupid how you ain't saying nothing and people will have an issue with you. It's stupid, you know. Pe see, people are just unreasonable, man. Like it's it's crazy how. Some people that at like nine to fives will hate the quiet person, the person who doesn't really speak that much. It's like, well, people don't always want to talk all the time, man. People didn't come here to talk to you. They came here to do the job, dude. You know, they should only talk to you when they have to. They don't have to talk to you. But some people hate the quiet, you know, like I said, like I said in one of my old videos, how people at, at this one job, when I was a landscaper, they, they, they disliked me because I was too quiet. Like, well, how the fuck you don't like me because I'm, qu I'm quiet? I'm doing my job, doing what I need to do, but you don't like me because I'm not talking. It's stupid as fuck, dude. So, so a lot of times I actually start, I actually start a lot of conversation, even though I don't fucking want to, but I'm just doing it because I know people don't like the quiet person and then I don't want to have fucking conflict with people. So I still ask people, well, how's your day today? And da, 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 da. And then, um, you know, how was, how was, how was the weekend? You know, even though I really don't care to say that, I'm just doing that shit just to kind of play along with the shit. You know what I'm saying? So you know, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, st I'm still a nice person. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm still a cool guy, still a cool person, you know, I'm still a cool person. And that's another thing, man. You know, <laughs> there's some coworkers at work that had like found my YouTube channel and shit because like first they had like searched me up on Facebook and then they, and then on my Facebook page, uh, I have, I have some of my videos on my page, and, and they've been, like, watching my videos and telling motherfuckers about my, about my It's stupid. It's stupid, man. Let's go back to my last video. What I do in my personal life should not concern you. It should not concern you. It, it, it's... I just find this shit to be fucking baffling. How... Uh, uh, let me... Let me go... Uh, let me go search him up. A YouTube channel. Let me watch it. I'm gonna tell everybody about his channel. It's fucking stupid, man. Why the fuck do you care about what the fuck I'm talking about? It's stupid, bro. It's just fucking stupid, man. <laughs> it's stupid. Telling people about my fucking... It's stupid, dude. It's fucking stupid, bro. And then you got motherfuckers like post, posting me. Apparently, from what I heard, posting me on their social media talking shit. It's, it's childish. Because I don't even start shit with people, bro. I'm kind. I'm polite. It's crazy how even though even when you're kind and polite, motherfuckers will still have an issue with you. It, see, listen, bro. In this world, dude, listen. In this earth, in this earth, bro, it's just you can't reason with everybody, dog. You know how Naruto, uh, in Naruto, he, in Naruto, a lot of times he will uh, talk no jutsu people, like like, like he did with uh, Zabuza and. Um, uh, Damn, who else he talking to, dude? Fucking, um, Pain, um, fucking Obito, and then Sasuke this in the final valley. But there's some people that, that you can't talk no jutsu. Like, 
Naruto was not able to talk no, talk no jutsu Madara. He wasn't able to able to talk no jutsu Kaguya. <clears throat> Some motherfuckers you can't talk no jutsu. Some people can't talk to these motherfuckers. It's stupid, man. Some people you can't talk no jutsu them, dude. Some people just will have an issue with you no matter what. Even if you're not doing nothing, people still have a problem with you. It's stupid as fuck. It's dumb. It's not gonna bother people. I make sure I come in, do my job, and leave. You know, do my job, go home. That's what we should all fucking do. Come to work, do your job, do your duties, get the hell out of here. That's what we're here for. We're here to fucking get a fucking paycheck, man. That's the main reason why I'm here. A, a check. A paycheck. Yes, I yes, I do like my job. You know, I I I do like to take care of people. I actually like to do that kind of thing. But the main reason for why I'm here is to get a fucking check. I would say maybe when I first started working here, it was 50-50. Half of it was a paycheck. And the other half was actually liking to do this. But now, you know, I've been here too long and, and you know, I'm kind of getting tired of it. So I'll say now it's more 80, 80% paycheck, 20%. 20% I like doing it. So the main reason why I'm here is to get a fucking check, dude. That's the main reason why I'm here, to get a fucking paycheck, dude. That's the main re reason why anybody works, for the most part, to get a fucking check. Most people really don't care to do their job, really. I, to me personally, I don't really, you know, like I said in my last video, I don't mind to do, I don't mind to do this kind of work like uh, for like four months, and I can actually enjoy it. Do this work for four months. And then be done after four months. I could do that. But longer than that, it just kind of drains me out. So I don't really want to do it no more because because it's because it's past four months, I believe. Or I believe it's it's exactly four months that I've been here. So it's kind of old now. So, But the main reason why I'm here, all in all, is get a fucking paycheck, dude. That's the main reason why I'm coming in this motherfucker. To get a fucking check, right? I didn't come here to be friends with nobody. Didn't come here to be a part of fucking cliques and all that shit. It's stupid as fuck, man. Oh, 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 oh this is my clique. Oh, this is my clique. I ain't being part of nobody's fucking clique, dude. I'm not part of nobody's fucking clique. It's stupid. We're fucking grown adults, man. Fuck we got cliques for. It's fucking stupid. Cliques. Fuck out of here, man. I, I'm a fucking lone wolf. I don't need no fucking clique. Fuck out of here. I'm a fuck. you know, I've been a lone wolf for years. I'm a fucking lone wolf. You know, maybe, you know, I might, you know, gain, gain, gain a big circle, you know, not opposed to that. But most of, for most of my life, I've been a lone wolf. I don't need to be part of nobody's fucking clique. It's fucking stupid, man. But you got, like I said, me got motherfuckers posting me on social media. From what I heard, I, you know, I don't know for sure, but from what I heard, posting me on the social media, talking shit. Fuck you talking shit. For, I don't even bother you. The fuck you? <laughs> stupid. It's dumb, man. This is what I'm talking about, man. I don't, I don't even bother you. <laughs> it's stupid as fuck But yeah man <clears throat> Just wanna say that shit man Coworkers are not your friends bro You know Even though some of them may laugh at you Laugh with you Tell you some shit about their life That does not mean they're your fucking buddy bro They they can they can still backstab the shit out your ass man So Just wanna put the shit out there bro Like It's crazy how Like You know In the day bro We're fucking strangers I'm only speaking to you because I have to. I'm only here because I have to get fucking money to fucking put food in my stomach and fucking keep my tongue hydrated for water. For water, you know what I'm saying? You know to keep my fucking tongue. The only reason how I can do this right here, the only reason, you know how I can do this. Is to have fucking money. And how do I get money? A fucking job. So the only reason why I'm here, for the most part, is to get, is to fucking keep my tongue hydrated and to keep my to keep my belly full, to where my stomach goes to where my to you know to where when my stomach goes, I'm able to put fucking food in it. The only reason why I'm fucking here, I'm not here to be no one's fucking friend. I'm not here to be a part of this fucking gossip shit. People are immature, man. But then people, if if you're younger than them, they'll say, "Oh, you're a baby. You're 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 a baby. You're you, you, you're young." But I act more mature than everybody that works there. <laughs> what the fuck? Stupid, man. It's stupid. It's stupid, man. God damn, just clock in, do your fucking job. If if someone else ain't doing a job, tell them. Say, hey man, hey man, 
do do this a little bit differently. Tell the motherfucker, right? Do your job. Go the fuck home. Simple. Simple. All this gossip. Stupid. Stop fucking gossiping. Shut the fuck up. Anytime I hear people gossiping at my job, I just kind of, I don't even really, you know, like, I might go along with it, like, oh, really? Damn. You know, I, I, I might do that shit, but in my head, I'm like, y'all motherfuckers are stupid. Quit, quit talking about people behind their back. Stupid, man. Be an adult. You know, you ain't going to catch me constantly talking about people, searching motherfuckers up on their Facebook page. It's stupid. It's dumb. <laughs> searching mother- like, what you care about? What the- Being nosy. Like, you're just looking. You're just look. Some people just look for some shit to say about you. Like, they just look for something. Like, they'll just look for something. Oh, he, oh, he got a YouTube channel? Oh, my God. Oh, I don't like what he's talking about. I'm going to tell everybody about this. Oh, my God. It's fucking childish, man. This is... <laughs> you know, it's childish as fuck, man. But, you know, but, you know, I still go to work and I still say hello to the same motherfuckers. I still say hi. Even though I know they fake as fuck, I still say hello and just play along with the shit and, and act like I don't know what they're doing. But I really know what they, because, because, because they, because they think I don't know what they're doing, but I fucking know, bro, because I fucking hear shit. So, <laughs> you know. Stupid man, and 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 some things, some things, uh, people told me, but I don't know a hundred percent. You know if if that's true because, like I said, I didn't hear it myself. But there has been some shit that I heard, and I'm like, oh okay, because like cause like motherfuckers thought I didn't hear them because they thought that they was kind of like far away, but I still heard them. Like, oh okay, you talking shit about me to someone else? It's stupid as fuck, man. So. It's dumb, man. It's toxic. <laughs> but even though this job is somewhat toxic, I can still handle it. It's not like unbearable. Like the last job when I was a landscaper, that shit was finna fucking drive me nuts, man. That shit pissed me the fuck. But this is just little shit, but it doesn't really bother me too much. But, you know, I'm still calling this shit out in the video. It's fucking stupid, man. So, your yeah, coworkers are not your friends, bro. <laughs> They'll rat you out. Talk shit behind your back. Search your, search up your social media page just to be nosy and, and and have some shit to say about you. It's fucking dumb, man. Even if you're polite, like myself. Hello, how you doing? How's your day? You know, how's your day today? Da da da. da. Okay, have a great day. You nice? Still got. <laughs> so, listen, with some people, you can't win for lose, man. And my mom told me, and I'm not even religious no more. But she said, nigga. If they hated Jesus, they gonna hate you. That's some real shit. I'm not. I'm not religious. Fuck Jesus. I'm not religious. But if you are religious, that's some real shit. If they hate Jesus, they gonna hate you. So, facts, man. People gonna always, always, always have shit to say about you, regardless. You can be Michael Jordan. You can be fucking Tom Brady. You you can be one of the greatest players of all time. People will still have something to say about you, bro. It's fucking stupid, man. Like, oh, Kobe Bryant sucks. And you know damn well, nigga, don't fucking suck. You know, so, I don't know, man. That's all I got to say, man. I'm out. Say something, because that motherfucker ain't your friend. You motherfuckers need to get it straight, man. Your coworkers are not your fucking friends. They're just a group of people you get to hang out with for 8 to 12 hours a day, and you're both achieving the same goal, a fucking paycheck. Don't get it fucked up. Sometimes you'll get lucky and make a friend in the process, but you can't put too much faith or hope or trust in the people that you work with, because... Being that their livelihood's on the line, they're not going to pick you over their fucking livelihood. Okay, I don't expect anybody to put their livelihood on the line for me, and I damn sure ain't going to give up my livelihood for any of them. That's just the fucking way it is. What makes me different is that I'm a real motherfucker. I will pull somebody aside and let them know, hey, some shit's about to come down the pipe on your fucking ass. I'll let somebody know some real shit. I ain't going to play them fucking games. I'm not there to play fucking games. But I think they were my friends. No. Get it through your head, motherfucker. They're not your friends. They're your co-workers.